Welcome back everyone. It's a cold day in the shop. But we're going back to the summertime. This is the three day solo off grid cabin build. This is going to be start to finish. If you want to see the full build playlist that has more build details and more behind the scenes, that link will be at the end of this video. So stick around. Click on that when you're done here. Right now, let's get on with this build. I think I want to put the cabin right here. It's relatively level. All right, that's basically it. We're going to go for 8 by 12. I guess I'll set the horses up, get the treated on it that will be for the floor, and kind of expose the three-quarter OSB uh, that is pretty much top of the bunk. I built the load myself, so I knew how I was going to use it because when you call a big box store, they never build the load right. They put all the stuff you need at the bottom, and then you have to dig through all the stuff you don't need to get to the stuff you do need. I don't get it. wide, 13 feet long, so this is the foundation, the skids, and then our, our floor will go this way, that's next, but this, boys and girls, is how you repurpose a swing set. covering down there that's fantastic that's perfect nail the bottom and I'm gonna tack this rock it roll. Ah, try to go away it's the back wall and it has a window there's my framing for the window so it's squared up and tacked down so I should be able to stand this because I'm gonna have to build it out and I'm gonna sheet it up because oh hey little man the sheathing is going to go three and a half past here. You know what I mean?
do 78 and a half inch studs. That's done. That OSB should sit just a touch low so I can just kind of set my 2x4s on that, use it as a ledge, and then nail them up. It'll be a 4x4 four four here, 4x4 four four there, the beam across, and then the loft platform is just going to sit right down on top of the beam and then nail in to that beam. Show you, I got I got these trued up. Uh, I don't want to say plumb because you know what, what's plumb here. So first thing tomorrow will be knee wall, knee wall, OSB and everything, and then uh, drop these rafters on here. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is decent for one day. Anyway, um, We're building knee walls and then we're cutting rafters. We're getting after this thing today. Let's go. Okay, need 12 more of these and a bridge board. There's a kind of an old junkyard, small cars and stuff through the woods over there. I found me a window. Talk about a cabin made out of uh, used and salvaged and scrap and leftover. We're killing it here, boys.
shade. I'm gonna try to cobble this door on here. Oh well, no, it's the first time I've ever uh, tried to put a door on a homemade cabinet. Like a dang glove. All right, we're framed up. I've got the, the ridge covered with some uh, felt paper, synthetic felt. Um, because I'm moving in. We gotta get this taken care of. Gotta get the shingles on in the morning. Shingles, deck boards is top priority at the moment. Windows in, caulked in, yeah, pretty well. And then uh, we'll do some buttoning up tomorrow. We can be throwing shingles at this thing, hopefully, before the sun gets up. Roof is done. So now while I'm all sweaty and nasty and dirty and the dog's exhausted, I'm gonna get cleaned up here. Go. Cut those ends off. It's built. A few finishing touches yet, but I like it. I got some solar lights up. Got my decorations. And Yeah, I got my flag up. That means I've staked my claim. It's mine now. It's like the moon. So there it is. I hope you liked the build. Keep an eye on the channel because I want to do some more off-grid building. I got some ideas up here. Um, this one was all built with scrap material, leftover, leftover material, salvage material. Um, if I put some money into it, I think we can make some really nice things happen around here. So stick around and watch for those videos.